Jonas, one of the instructors for HeadMap Online. Today, we'll be discussing on some tips and strategies in answering figure grouping problems. So, learn and enjoy our video. Okay, so we have an example of a problem for figure grouping. Okay, so for figure grouping, you're going to find similarities uh, with the given four of the figures, which is not, or say, not present on the uh, figure that is the correct answer. So, uh, for this problem, observe that we have arrows. Okay, so the strategy here is actually to say position the arrow pointing upward so we'll have a is already pointing upwards and option is also pointing upward so if we are going to focus on option b if this arrow will be pointing upward so i have here option b if this will be pointing upward it will actually look similar with option A. So therefore, A and B are equal. And option C and option E actually are also the same. So here's option C. If we are going to position the arrow upward, it will actually look like option E. So therefore, option C and E are equal. So therefore, the correct answer is delta. Okay, here's another example for figure grouping problem. So, observe that we have connecting ports here, so clear, shaded and clear, 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 clear. So by that, actually, we could eliminate options, say, A and D, since these two are actually similar. So it is obvious that these two could not be the possible answers. Okay, while options C and E could also be eliminated since these two figures are also equal. So that leaves us option B as the correct answer. Although it's not an absolute strategy, figure pairing could be applied only if we have two sets of similar Figures. For example, we have A and B are equal, C and E are equal, and that leaves option B as the correct answer. And we add figure among the five options. So here's our last example for figure grouping. Options A and actually say option E. And at the same time, option C. Okay, so you have straight. Then B and D. See, they appears to be diagonal. So I want to focus on this part of the figure. Okay, the two straight shaded squares. Okay, and the focus actually is to position this at the bottom. Okay, so we have option A is already good. Option B, okay, so we have option B here. If we're going to position this two shaded squares at the bottom, we will actually have different figure with A. Okay, so that's letter B. Then option C, we have it here. Positioning these two squares that are shaded at the bottom will actually have the same with option A. Okay. 
option D. So we have option D here. Positioning these two shaded squares at the bottom. Okay, we will actually have the same figure with option A. While option E, okay, we have here option E, positioning these two squares at the bottom will give us figure the same with A, C, and D. So therefore, the obvious answer is option B. Thank you for watching our episode today on figure grouping. Please subscribe to NMAT Online's YouTube channel. We will be sharing more test-taking tips on acing the NMAT exam. NMAT Online is the first digital review platform for NMAT in the Philippines. To learn more about it, you may check out our website or follow us on Facebook.